If you're super excited about adding in ChatGPT into things like Microsoft Word and other Office applications, then let's take a look and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm in Microsoft Word and all I got to do is type in add-ins. So type in add INS and choose to insert an add-in. Now you can see I don't have any add-ins as of yet. So I'm going to click on store. Now, as of right now, there is no Microsoft official chat GPT add-in. So we need to add in a third party add-in and it's called Ghostwriter. And it's, so here is Ghostwriter after typing it in and I'll click add. Now there's a couple different licenses for this. There's a $10 license for a basic and there's a 25 for pro. The basic doesn't quite give you all the different features that the pro does. So check it out. You can use it a couple of times for free just by clicking on the try it. And then you go ahead and type in your request here. And what I did here was I said, write a story about a guy named Will who stubs his toe on an anvil, your typical cartoon type of thing. And under personas, this is really interesting. So if I choose under persona, I can choose to act as a specific type of person. So if you can scroll through all these different options here, you can choose what you want to, to choose as your particular persona. So I'm going to choose as a screenwriter would be one way I could do that. So I'll choose that, or I could even choose as a storyteller it would be another option here as well. Maybe I'll choose that. I can also choose a writing style. So I've got academic, analytical, creative. I'll say creative on this one and choose the output language. And I'm going to default that to English US. And I'm going to go ahead and click this little arrow here. And it's coming up with my story. And here's my story. So we can see once upon a time, there's a guy named Will who is known for his clumsiness, who doesn't often trip over his own feet. So you can take a look. The story is actually really good. Uh, and then it sort of comes up, uh, something strange happened. He felt sorry for himself. He found a symbol, which he examined more closely. And uh, it was like a jolt of electricity going through him. And at the very end, Will lived happily ever after. Now I've got one more test I can do here. So let's do a test a little bit more analytical, maybe as a business person. So I chose a new document. And this time for my persona, I'm going to act as a chief executive officer. My writing style is going to be analytical. And here I'm going to put in my prompt. And here we have an appropriate uh, letter that we would like this uh, chat GPT through Ghostwriter to write. Write a letter to my accountants to let them know I will no longer be needing their services. So I'll go ahead and choose to let it go ahead and write about that. So basically, I'm firing my accounting team. Let's see how it does with that request. And here it is. This is a letter that many of us might have received in times past, whether we're accountants or not. You can see I am writing to inform you I'll no longer be requiring your accounting services. I'd like to thank you for your services. You can put in the date here. Anytime you see these brackets, it allows you to fill in the date. And after careful consideration, I've decided to take my accounting needs in-house. Uh, let me know if there's any outstanding fees. Again, Thank you very much. So it did a really nice job with a couple of different requests. So that is the Ghostwriter application that ties right into ChatGPT.